Well, hey friends and neighbors, this is Chuck out at Sheraton Park Farms. Welcome back to the farm. So I've been recording footage for this video for a couple hours now. It's morphed, it's changed from what I had intended this video to be. Started out, we're gonna talk about our egg chickens today, moving chickens around, new egg layers, all that kind of thing. <clears throat> and we've had a couple things happen. Good buddy of ours, who's also a YouTuber, um, came over. So we're gonna introduce him here in just a few minutes. We've talked about him on the channel before, we'll introduce him again. And uh, we were riding through the garden a while ago and money don't grow on trees, but it'll land in a tree. We're gonna show you what we're talking about. So stick around with us for a little bit. Okay, what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna work on moving this group of egg chickens. Um, we're gonna move them forward and we're gonna work on trying to give them part of these, uh, this tree, a little bit of some of these trees, a little bit of tree cover. I think we might have had a hawk strike or two um, come out. We, well, we did find one dead bird that was outside the fence over there on the lower side. And then there have been a couple times that we've saw a lot of feathers. It might have just been picking, um, these chickens picking on one another. But, uh, you know, not sure. They can get up and under that coop, which gives them, you know, some cover. But we want to give them the, we're going to give them the trees today. So, but they really worked this over. Been here about seven days. So it's, uh, it's time to move. So let's, uh, get some new fence put up and uh, hook up to the egg mobile with the tractor and we'll pull that thing forward and uh, we'll go inside in a few minutes and get eggs um, not gotten eggs for the day so we'll uh, we'll see how many eggs we're getting we're working on putting this fence up and the ground out here we've had pigs here before and we've not had any well we've ran sheep across this kind of recently but nothing else in a while and uh, we're having a little trouble getting the stakes on this Premier One in the ground. Show them what you're using there. You have, that's your, pers that's your persuader. That's the <laughs> fence persuader. So what we're having to do in a couple places is just drill a hole to uh, get the spike uh, to go down in the ground. Over here under the shade where there's a little more vegetation, it's real soft. I mean, it's going in fine. So more evidence why vegetation is... Uh, you know, better at keeping your soil kind of fluffy and aerated and getting that root structure in there <clears throat> to help with your forages. Where we're having trouble is over here where it's kind of dry and we don't have, I mean, there's grass there, but not nearly as, uh, not nearly as thick and lush as what we've got over here in this little wooded area. So, got a couple of helpers out here today. Buck, Sophie hanging out with us. So I had the camera pointed pointed in the wrong direction. They have all made a beeline <clears throat> for uh, going across to the new to the new spot. So <laughs> look at there, over there checking out checking it out. So we're gonna move the move the uh, coop now, and then the water and their uh, energizer and all that kind of stuff. Had a couple of comments and questions about <clears throat> moving these guys. Do we close them up to move them? Won't they get lost if you move their coop? You know, they've got a homing sense that they want to go back to where their coop was. We're not moving these guys, gosh. Uh, we're not moving them 30 yards. So, I mean, we're just gonna hook, we're hook, gonna hook to the tractor here and we're just gonna pull to right there. And the coop's still gonna, I mean, they're gonna be able to see it. They know where to go. So it's not a, it's not a big deal, but man, they went straight. That was, I wish I'd have had the camera pointed the other way. As I was backing up, they were running. I mean, just this horde of chickens was just running over here to get in this grass. 
over here under this I guess that's a sweet gum tree oh poison oak on it over here scratching in the scratching in the leaves doing what chickens do that's something they were just running wasn't it that's crazy all right let's get the coop moved Moved water fence got the coop moved. They're all over here. Very little coaxing today. Everybody went right for the uh, for the new spot. So a lot of these girls are young. November. Some of these a bunch of these girls were born in November. So they're just now starting to lay. I want y'all to see some of these some of these eggs that we're getting. Eggs? Huh? Eggs? Right. So right there's one. That is I mean it's really it's kind of hard to tell the scale on that one. But that's a small egg. Got a regular? Let me see a regular. You can sort of see the difference there. The one on uh, on your left is a uh, probably a chicken that's just now started laying. The one on the right from an older chicken that's been laying for a little while. So, uh, but yeah, we're starting to get a tiny one. So we're starting to get a little better production. Um, they are still kind of small, but they'll pick up in size over the uh, over the course of the next few weeks numbers we were getting at one time we were getting about 18 or 20 a day now we're up to 40 42 somewhere in that neighborhood just kind of depends on the day so some days are better than others one girl still at work up there the uh egg mobile working out really well got the roosting bars in place poop through floor doing exactly what we want it to do we do get a little bit of a hot spot um on the uh on the paddock whenever we leave the uh egg mobile on one spot for you know five or seven days we get a little hot spot underneath the coop but you know if that's the worst we do around here i'm i'm pretty happy with that so <clears throat> how many you got 34 so far Come in. Oh. Fifty one. That's our best day so far. 51 eggs today. Best day so far. Did you get them out of this little rollaway deal down here? All right. Now, a lot of them are small, but uh, still eggs. I got one yesterday. It's like a third of an egg. Looked like a big marble. We opened it up. Didn't even have a didn't even have a yolk to it. So uh, looked like a big old uh, 
to me you'd cough up but uh, 51 eggs good day today man i was coming to help you unload that thing <laughs> hey how are you good good to see you y'all remember jp jp's lawns and more lawns and more yes yeah. jp let me turn this thing around here so they can hear you but anyway jp jp lawns and more you guys what are y'all do gold prospecting, gold prospecting coins coins collecting lot of, treasure hunting stuff like that a lot of live streams a lot of live streams yep yep cool stuff so y'all go over and check out jp lawns and more i'll leave his uh i'll leave a link to his channel in the description down below he brought us a tote one of these big uh What's that? That's a 275, ain't it? Uh, I don't know. They had two of them. Kind of like these uh, big um, water totes we used to make our um, automatic pig waters out of. So, yeah. You know, maybe me and you stand here long enough, Son will get all that fence rolled up. <laughs> and there will be nothing left to do. So, me and JP had gone down to the freezer to get him some stuff out of the freezer. We were riding back along, and he points at this persimmon tree and says, What's that? And it's a swarm. So this is a swarm of bees landed in a persimmon tree. We're wondering if it's not out of one of our other hives over here. We made some splits the other day. Um, we had this one major hive, this main hive right here. We split it out into four total. <clears throat> so we're wondering if this is maybe a swarm off of off of that hive because that was the one that did have the queen in it so anyway what we're going to do is we're going to take this little five frame box right here we're going to set it underneath the uh, swarm and we're just going to rake those bees down into this box try to make sure we get the queen and uh, we'll have us another hive of bees here so if you're ever out and you see a swarm like this don't spray them don't do anything to them try to find a beekeeper close to you give them a buzz no pun intended uh, and they will be more than happy to uh, come and get these come and get the bees for you so but this is a good size swarm see how thick they are so yeah we're gonna get these guys caught up get them in a get them in a nuke box and get them set up all right, so what we're doing here, <clears throat> we're recording. Got this five frame box. We've taken four of the frames out and they're just hanging here. <clears throat> so, Madam Queen Beekeeper here, yeah, is going to uh, come over here and we're just going to rake them down this box. We'll put the frames back in, put the lid on, make sure we got the queen, and uh, they'll be off and running. That's a big one. Now it's time to back up. Now you got a bunch on the ground over here. Do you want to put these frames back in there? So we just take a soft bristled um, nylon bristle brush, <clears throat> just rake them off in there. What you want to try to do is you want to try to get the queen into the box and then all the other bees are going to follow along. They're going to go in there and uh, join her. And they go off of a pheromone, off of her scent. Still got a few on the tree trunk there, Sandra.
Hey, I found her. Yes. Yep, right here she is. Perfect. Well, she just flew. Where'd she go? Well, she took off flying. I think that was her. Sounds like a Daytona 500. Yeah, it does, don't it? So we don't think we got the queen. We think she's still on the tree because they're congregating back on that persimmon tree right there. So she's going to try sweeping them again down into the uh, down into the box. Man, you never know what you're going to get when you come to Sheraton Park Farms, do you? <laughs> Wasn't expecting this. All right, we think we got her because the number of bees that were on the tree trunk has greatly diminished. And if, you'll, if you can kind of see right there, some of those worker bees have got their butts up in the air and they're fanning like crazy. So they're telling the other bees that the queen is in here and they're trying to attract them so into that box. On the side of the box. And you can see them, they're, they're landing on the side of this box and just marching right up into the right up into the opening right there it's going right up, going right in there so we think we got her so i need to put those frames back in there <clears throat> so we've got some frames over here they'll go back in we're going to go over here to one of these other hives we'll pull out a frame of uh frame of brood put that in there we've got a queen excluder across the front to keep the queen in um we'll give her a couple days to kind of set up shop then we'll take that queen excluder down so she can go out <clears throat> do her mating flight come back start building the hive up so that's good stuff free bees if y'all are interested in beekeeping go buy a pound or go buy a two pound package of bees i think they're 75 bucks or 100 dollars right now you buy a new hive i think they're gosh my buddy jamie over at seven stands can correct me i think they're 175 maybe 200 dollars. so to catch a swarm of bees is like uh it's like finding free money in a tree who says money don't grow on trees? Lands and trees anyway, don't grow on trees. <clears throat> All right, so we think we got her in there. We're just gonna leave this here overnight. We'll come back and check them again tomorrow. We got farmer's market tomorrow, March first day of farmer's market. So we'll come back and check them tomorrow. But pretty sure we got the queen. Um, they're, they're sure acting like she's in there. And uh, we'll just leave these guys and check on them tomorrow and do a little more setting up make sure they're good to go so something we didn't get to today been a productive day on the farm something we didn't get to we've got that one real dark pig out on the pasture that's set to farrow i think she's doing about the next week but big mama we checked her yesterday morning she's in full milk i think she's probably going to farrow anytime and she's not due for another Gosh, I guess about another three days. But anyway, we're going to have more piglets here before you know it. So keep, if you're not subscribed, hit subscribe and follow along because, you know, we're going to have more piglets. And everybody loves piglet videos. But uh, productive day on the farm. Got these egg chickens over here moved. Got them right there behind me. Got the egg chickens moved. Caught that swarm of bees. JP came over to see us. Always good to see him. Super nice guy. If you've not checked out his channel, I'm going to leave a link in the description down below. 
um go over and check that out but anyway if you've not subscribed hit that subscribe button i'm gonna post a link to a couple other videos over here other stuff we've got going on follow along with us we got baby piglets coming we got brand new bees on the on the farm now the, working on the garden a little bit it's all kind of stuff but anyway we appreciate y'all watching we'll see you on the next video thanks <laughs>